Oh, I should ignore it. I'm just gonna pretend I don't see him. I thought- I thought he was a- I thought he was a doll. But that's not- Yeah, that's the real thing. There's a pink outline. But there's no doll in here, right? Despair! When I went inside this room, the bastard bear was suddenly here. He keeps glancing at me. I wonder why. <laughs> it's gonna be shitty either way. Uh. So I'll let you handle it. There's no way I'm gonna deal with that idiot. I don't want to do that either. There's no book here. We might have to get the info from him. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Why, hello, Hajime. I hope you're doing pleasantly well. Are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing here? Yeah, yeah. Well, there was another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. <laughs> I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. Aww. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm getting real fed up with your babbling. Hurry up. What did you need to tell me? It's about that key piece of information you've been waiting so long for. Nato. Surprise! It's about ultimate despair! Huh? Nato. Come! Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days, Jitsua. it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and feared person alive. A uh, high school girl? Yeah! About us being the ultimate despair thing? If you think about Mikan, remember her beloved? So Mikan regained her memories and remember her beloved, right? Was her beloved Junko? That kind of makes sense. Lady, Junko Enoshima. Junko Enoshima? As the former ultimate despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor and created the ultimate despairs. There was one really horrible person in that group. Hold on a sec. I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. There's no way people would join some fucked up organization created by a high school girl. <laughs> Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders through history, right? There's nothing strange about it. That holds true for Lady Junko. Whoa, such respect to Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Hmm. Her connections were the main reason the incident became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat? Huh? Then what was their purpose? Huh? Huh? Like I said, why did they cause that incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way they'd do what they did without any purpose. It was Junko Enoshima's despair. Huh? For Junko Enoshima, despair isn't about purpose, a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what defines Junko Enoshima as Junko Enoshima. We're getting more information than the end of Danganronpa 1! What are you saying? I'm a stuffed plushie! Hajime is a human! It's exactly like that! Junko Enoshima is full of so much despair that she's truly hopeless! Living, dying, eating, loving... For her, everything is despair! What the hell? With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Oh yeah, I can totally see Junko taking advantage of Mikan. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. The idea had been slammed right into their minds. And so, the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair! Whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko Enoshima. 
like believers making offerings to their God, like a mother providing food to her children. They dedicated all despair so they could escape from despair, all in Junko Enoshima's name. For example, they killed their families and friends and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. Whoa. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something that they had to do. There's no way something that crazy is possible. Do you know about the final days of the Reserve Corps students during the tragedy? Final days? Junko has the power to change people's values. That is also true of famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to the reserve department? They fulfilled their roles as disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> Whoa! And so, the 2,357 students of the reserve department all committed mass suicide. Mass suicide? All the students? Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. Oh, it's me! Is that me? Oh, I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate despair. Junko and Oshima. It doesn't scare me at all. I mean... Junko and Oshima is already dead! Wait, how do you know that? Huh? Wait, how does he know that? What? Hey, Fuyuhiko, is it true what you said? Junko Enoshima is really dead? Huh? What? You didn't see? There was a book called Killing School Life in that bloody classroom. A bloody classroom? No, wait. What was that you said about the killing school life? Like the killings we were involved in, they were killings that happened at Hope's Peak Academy. As I recall, the mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat her. Man. Yeah, that's what it was. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed killing school life was... Junko Enoshima. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko Enoshima is dead! It turns out that the killing school life was part of that whole biggest most awful whatever incident. Junko took away the memories of former students of Hope's Peak and forced them to kill each other. Former students, and she took away their memories? That's just like us. Apparently the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. There's a limit to being a cruel asshole. The surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? The students are widely known as symbols of hope. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival, they were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up! <laughs> but that messed up plan was stopped. Junko and Oshima failed. Junko lost to the students she placed in her trap, and after being overcome by the despair she created, <laughs> she took her own life. Then, Junko and Oshima is no more. <laughs> He's not saying anything! No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not, doesn't matter. <laughs> Junko and Oshima isn't alive anymore! But what if, like, someone programs a Junko and Oshima? Because you know we're in VR still. Then... Who is our enemy? If Junko and Oshima is already dead, are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings we're involved in resemble that killing school life. <laughs> well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but... <laughs> an imitation is just that, an imitation. If the students stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to some fake. 
But if this is really an imitation, are those surveillance cameras the same too? The cameras all over Jabberwock Island. Are they broadcasting to somewhere just like the surveillance cameras during the killing school life? Hmm. Man, Najime, you totally know about that story, huh? What? Do you have a problem with that? Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it. Oh well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What do you mean raise the flag? What's gonna happen if you do that? One step at a time. We're getting closer to clearing my character route. Oh, no, thank you. You're not making sense again. No, then I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the inside and outside. I'll raise them flags like crazy. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, the other killing school life. Broadcast worldwide. By forcing people to watch, despair. But it failed because Junko is dead. Okay. Someone is imitating what Junko is doing. Man, there is a lot of text here, so I'm gonna be a little bit less meticulous about reading all the text. No! No! Even though the term ultimate despair... Oh my god, no, 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 I don't need this, I don't need this, oh my god. Ah! Yeah, it's the exact same, right? Okay, get out of here. Oh! Hang on, I think I skipped something just now. It's fine already. You don't have to keep explaining. Oh, it's fine already, but I'm just getting to the good part. <laughs> All right. Huh? It, it changed to a different hallway again. It's so sudden. What's going on to make something like this happen? No, I've already decided that I'm not going to be surprised. That's right. There's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. It's fine, it's fine. We're okay, we're fine. Akana's twitching her nose like a beast and examining her surroundings. Hey, what happened? Well, you know, it's just my gut, but... I feel like someone's getting closer. Huh? What do you mean? Who? I don't know, it's just my gut after all. But still, her gut is pretty impressive. For some reason, it's strangely intuitive. And Monokuma did say something about the main cast coming. It's surprising, but her gut must be correct again this time. Main cast? Whoa. Main cast to me kind of implies more than one person, so... Curious to see. What's up? Headmaster... Oh, okay, okay, I see where we are. Let's find the, the one open room. Not here. Um... Hmm. There we go. The very underutilized music room in Danganronpa 1. The only thing of note that happened in here. What is that? This looks like the music room. I feel like I can see something strange. It says Future Foundation again. Yeah, the only thing of note that happened here before was pretty much... Junko, not Junko, freaking Kyoko. Uh, not being able to tell Kyoko the truth, which really pissed me off, but whatever. What is this? Words are floating in the air. This is like a hologram, right? 
The floating letters are forming a sentence. That is such a strange way to put it. It looks like a passage from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have obtained information. A person who claims to be a survivor of Hope's Peak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. 15? Oh yeah, without Chiaki, okay. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they're survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, it's possible they may be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though I don't believe the group can go that far without Junko and Oshima rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of the killing school life. Also, if they are survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origins and we haven't located them either. We will continue investigating this matter. Also, regarding a separate matter, we have received a report from the research faci research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been complete. It seems we can proceed with the next experimental phase of the Neo World program. Survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? 15 students? Is that us? Excluding Chiaki, who was part of the Future Foundation, there were definitely 15 of us, but... What does survivors mean? It's like they're talking from some other world. What happened outside Jabberwock Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then the world isn't normal anymore, maybe. I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we've lost. Should have felt that way a long time ago. Okay, well, this uh, very suspicious looking monument here. Looks like it's some sort of monument. Why would there be a monument in the music room? And not just that, the mark engraved into the monument is the symbol of the Future Foundation, right? Below that symbol, there is a passage. To combat the biggest, most awful, <sighs> the tragedy, the graduates of Hope's Peak were among the many who established the Future Foundation. Huh? The Future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy? Aren't they known as World Ender? This is completely different. Monokuma, he completely made it up! Oh. Huh. So yeah, we should be getting really good vibes about Future Foundation. Yeah, the Future Foundation is on our side at least. They were founded by the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy, and they took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. No, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be... The ultimate despairs who caused the big- Oh my god! The ones who are carrying out the will of Junko and Oshima are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email too. What is this research facility on Jabberwock Island mentioned in the email? What's that about? The only future foundation facility we found was that ancient ruin. There's no way that's the research facility. If there really is a research fa- Oh my god. On this island, there should be other future foundation members here. Somehow, there's still so many mysteries. <laughs> if you can't tell already, I'm starting to get really fed up with saying the same things so many times. The tragedy, Hope's Peak, Future Foundation. <laughs> I know they're necessary pronouns, so, uh, you know, we can't really hang on. Was there a Monokuma in there? Let me just check again. Yeah, we can't really get around it, but oh my dear god, especially the tragedy. Everything is just so long-winded, Jesus. No, like hidden mono. Was that always there? Huh. Oh, what the heck? Oh, there's a camera. Okay, I didn't even see it. Yeah, should be it. All right. Okay, so we should have something else opening up now. That's not here. 
I mean, our screen looks a little bit more alarming than before, but I guess we're continuing with it. Hey! Huh. Nothing new. Oh! Please don't tell me we're gonna keep doing this until we get to the first floor. Because I'm pretty sick of this info dump style already. This feels different from a classroom. It's probably the office, right? I mean, the room that has that kind of stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. Yeah, it's not- I don't know if it's very clear, but by the office, they mean like the one room that the teachers all congregate in when they're not in class. Yeah. More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonia? I don't see her anywhere. How much longer is this guy gonna be obsessed with Sonia? Give it up already. <sighs> well, he did say he was never gonna give her up, so I guess that's okay. It's just kind of like, sometimes, especially the last trial, it was it was life or death, and people were still joking around about poop jokes and stuff. It just seems like, I don't know, do you really, do you really care about getting out or not? Huh. 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 Hmm? There is something written on the blackboard. What's written here? The list of subjects is written on the blackboard in large letters. Just below that are the names I've seen before. What the heck is that picture? Is that- Holy shit, wait! It says Hyoko right above the picture! It says Hyoko Sayonji! There is a newspaper posted on the blackboard. Below that, Hyoko Sayonji is written there. What is this newspaper? Oh, okay, so maybe they were too lazy to edit the graphics, so they just put her name underneath the newspaper. <laughs> yeah! Future. What is this? It says Miss Hyoko Sayonji. That can't mean the same Hyoko, right? I mean, the Hyoko we knew. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was pretty much her defining feature. But the photo in this newspaper... In a way, I can see the resemblance to Hyoko, but her height and figure... It's too different from the Hyoko we knew. W what does this mean? Huh? That lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hyoko Sayonji here. Uh... Oh, then Hyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name? A an older sister with the same first and last name? That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Hyoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Uh... Well, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. She doesn't have an older sister! Hyoko is the Sayonji family's only daughter! If she doesn't have a sister, then a relative? No, there's still too much of a resemblance. That's Hyoko. Huh? What are you saying? Hyoko doesn't have a curvy body like that! I mean, she was famous for her childlike figure! She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that! I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt? What are you saying? She's already dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. Well, maybe, maybe when we are in virtual reality, we are like the younger versions of ourselves. Well, regardless, all the clues I've provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair! What the heck? This is the truth? If this is the truth, then the Hyoko in this newspaper... Is he really saying this is the same person? That's impossible! I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Hyoko when she's already dead? Why... why does this even exist? 
Could it be related to that list of subjects over there? Huh? Uh, if it says subjects, maybe that means there was some kind of experiment, right? Did that experiment change Hyoko's body? Office. Oh, what am I saying? Just saying it out loud makes it sound messed up! What experiment? If it's some kind of experiment, it would mean we're also test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard under that list of subjects. But what kind of experiment was it? What's going on? It better not have anything to do with time travel. Well, I think, uh... I think we can safely say that this picture of Hyoko here, it's to tell us that... Oh, wow. No name still for the ultimate imposter. It's to tell us that... The list of people on the board, the names listed on the board, might not look like what we think they look like. Or maybe this person here, Izuru Kamukura, let's see. An extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name etched into the placard says... Hope's Peak Academy founder, Izuru Kamukura. Yeah, I feel like that's just like a stock, stock image of what a... Academy founder would look like, but maybe Hyoko's picture is a hint that Izuru Kamukura does not look like what we think he looks like. The founder of Hope's Peak Academy and this name Izuru Kamukura, isn't that the exact same line? Oh my god, look at that. They basically repeated the freaking line again. Jeez, everything is so wordy here. Doesn't this clearly contradict the information I obtained earlier? Damn it, another mystery. Huh. Yeah, cause wasn't the other one a student and this one's founder? Yeah. Under what circumstances can both be true at the same time? Cause Monokuma said everything is true here, so... I mean, I guess we should believe him. Flowers on top of the desk? Plus, they look strange to me. Are my eyes just tired? Better update to a new graphics card. Everything's too outdated. There are letters floating in the air, like the music room from earlier. It looks like a passage from an email someone wrote. I think it's the same one from earlier. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best and continue your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Remnants? Even though they have lost Junko and Oshima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps there is still a leader on par with Junko and Oshima. Oh, is that the person coming? As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shining future. Uh, immediately el immediately eliminated? Does that mean this is an order to kill them? Ah, it doesn't say that word. That doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess that's understandable. Oh my god. If the tragedy is as terrible as it sounds, it's pretty much all at war. If the remnants of despair are the ones waging that war, there's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. <laughs> like a stock image for the bullet. Whoa! Huh. Huh. Okay, with this, you have totally raised all the flags on this floor. <laughs> Congratulations, Hajime! You shall now go to the next stage. Next stage? Oh my god, I really don't want to. <laughs> Please don't tell me we have to do this until the first floor, because that would. Oh my god. I just feel like it's not. It's not the best way to do it, because this is really just all one gigantic info dump. And not really presented in any sort of interesting way either. It's just going around... Well, I mean, it's a little bit better now, but the first floor was really bad. It was just looking at a picture of a manga cover and pretending that we're looking inside. Oh my god. It's like playing Gary's Mod or something. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, okay, okay. 
Hey, the rec room! The rec room! Whoa! Nice, uh, nice floating door. Alright! Oh, another email, goddammit! There is a billiard table, a dartboard, and a shelf lined with magazines. It's hard to think a room like this actually exists inside a school. <laughs> is it not alarming him at all that the the thing is floating? Hey! There's only four! Kinda seems to suggest that this place is modeled after the events of one. Like, the, of course, the it's modeled after the school, but specifically after the murders in one took place. This hologram again. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have finally succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. Though they were all dispersed, we were successful in acquiring all 15 of them. Due to the fact that we are unable to ask them about specific details, it is unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. It's been reported that some are wounded, so it seems certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined that they are the same age as the others. So we have decided to entrust them to the survivors of the killing school life. Okay. Well, that makes it really, really clear, right? It's crystal clear now. We are under the care of Future Foundation. We are the remnants of despair. We are under the care of Makoto and the others. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter, and we have no new information to report. Hang on, were they not talking about the remnants? Were they talking about other people? Survivors? Okay, so survivors and remnants of despairs are different. Okay, sure. We will continue to invest- We will continue the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Okay, actually, they make it sound like it's two different things, so maybe maybe that's not what's happening. Hmm. Damn, those are some placeholder-y looking <laughs> images. It says here that they succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. That means we should have been protected by the Future Foundation, right? Then why is this happening? If the Future Foundation was protecting us, why were we forced to kill each other on this island? Well, I guess it's not possible that the Future Foundation set this all up. My, my, Hajime. If you keep worrying like that, you're gonna get a toothache and collapse. It's your fault. What is this hologram thing anyway? I know It's exactly what it looks like. They're the Future Foundation's emails. I thought they made the perfect clue, so I did a little bit of hacking here and there to get them. You can even do that? Whoever's controlling you, seems to possess many talents. Oh, Hajime suggesting that the person controlling Monokuma is Izuru. Yeah, yeah. Well, who cares about me anyway? That should I point it off. Although, Hajime is not the most reliable person to go to for facts. His true identity should connect everything to what's happening right now. Hmm. Hmm. There is a lot of different magazines here. Fashion, motorcycles, blah. Aww. Mahiru. <laughs> they're, they're even avoiding the freaking billiard board on purpose. No description on it at all. There's a dartboard, but this is still a school, right? Huh. It's interesting, because he's only... He's only observing the things that are normal here, but all the floating stuff, he's not looking at it at all. So I feel like there's still some restriction on what we can look at, what we can think about. It's a file of Hope's Peak seal on it. It says confidential. It means this is a big secret, right? Why would an important document be here? Why am I even asking a question like that? Obviously, Monokuma is responsible. Anyway... About the Hope Cultivation Plan. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. The Hope Cultivation Plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we will birth a true hope 
that will bring hope to the entire world. Truly, the program is the next innovation in providing the ultimate education. This plan has been the Academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. What followed was a series of detailed instructions and intricate orders. It was full of difficult jargon, and I had no idea what any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason. The hope cultivation plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Hope's peak was behind something like that? I don't really get it, but... There's something about these words. True hope, huh? I guess one thing to remember is uh, we're seeing exactly what Monokuma wants us to see, including the emails. They could really just be showing random excerpts that are taken the wrong way when you look at them separately like that. So, and you know what? Another point. <laughs> I don't know how much information I'm getting in my head right now because there is honestly just too much info. Looks like I'm in a different hallway again. I'm pretty much used to it by now, but even so... What is this space? Am I dreaming or something? I mean, this is just totally disconnected from reality. Oh, second floor. Oh, thank god. Okay, we're moving uh, through the floor. Oh my god. Faster now. But uh, what was I saying beforehand? Yeah, they're kind of throwing all this information at me, so I'm pretty sure my... <laughs> My, uh, information retention rate is, like, below 10% right now. <laughs> it's close. It's very close. Someone is coming. Akana's twitching her nose and examining her surroundings. They're definitely real close. At least, that's what my gut is telling me. Then answer this with your gut. Is it an enemy or an ally? Good question. Let's see. My gut feeling is... Huh! Oh. He's right. They're both. Both? What do you mean? I don't know any details. It's just my gut after all. Well, that's true, I guess. Do you mean that there's multiple people? Oh my god. Do you mean there's multiple people and that one is good, one is bad? Or do you mean one person is both good and bad? Jesus, where are we even looking at right now? Uh, oh, okay, uh, did we go here yet? No, library, hello? This must be a library. Monokuma probably left something here too. I should hurry up and find it. Come on, I know there's a Monokuma here somewhere. There's gotta be. Not here? Really? That seems like such a good spot for it, too. That goddamn little email excerpts. To Future Foundation, 14th Division. Makoto Naegi. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to this world. The six of you join the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and cooperated with recovering your memories. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. What does this mean? This email seems to suggest that someone was trying to let the remnants of despair escape. This email is addressed to Makoto Naegi. But he's with the Future Foundation, right? Then, why was he trying to protect the remnants of despair? Did he betray the Future Foundation? No way! Of all people, no way. I won't believe it. You know, sometimes, just because 
There is a good organization, the Future Foundation, and there's a bad organization, the Ultimate Despairs. It doesn't mean every single thing they do is good or, or bad, right? So, oftentimes, these kind of like really radical... Is that the word? Radical organizations? Maybe their ideals are really, <laughs> really radical, so... Maybe sometimes having middle ground would be uh, a better solution. But, you know, the higher-ups don't think like that. Oh, how come? Did anything change? Oh! First floor. Huh? Didn't I walk into a classroom? Not even the first floor, the hotel! I don't really get it, but, um, this looks like the laundry room. There is no use worrying about it, but I was in a school and now I'm suddenly in a laundry room. Come on, there's gotta be Monokuma's- oh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah! That means I got all of it, right? That achievement? I don't know, I hope so. Uh, is that an iPad? Tablet PC? This looks like a tablet computer. It looks like the power is on too. Is this the next clue? Gotta put an SSD on this shit! Neo World Program? This word. Neo World. I seem to recall hearing it and seeing it a few times already. The New World Program has another name. Psychotherapeutic Communication Simulator. The New World Program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technology and administrative software. Is administrative software Monomi? <laughs> to develop the New World Program, Individuals such as the ultimate programmer, oh, ultimate neurologist, and the ultimate therapist were among the many talented people whose research results were utilized. By mounting a device to the cranium, the Neo World program allows its subjects to experience a synthetic virtual world. Hey, what happens if we realize that it's a virtual reality? Do we get kicked out? <laughs> Additionally, the Neo World program has another feature. It can replace memories formed in the real world with information contained in the synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it is possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world through the use of virtual world. However, this device is for psychotherapeutic purposes only. Any other use is expressly forbidden. Though it is highly effective in treating brainwashing. Mm. Abusing the device risks total personality destruction. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. They must have been trying to wipe our bad memories. Slowly, everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world? Program? A feeling of emptiness, like everything is being tainted. A feeling of weakness, like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Everything is starting to feel meaningless. The desperate attempts, the sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now. It's all disappearing until all I feel is... Despair. Ah! I screamed loudly, as if I was confirming the sound of my own voice. There's no way I can accept this! I am st <laughs> There's no way I can accept this! I am starting to accept it. This... This... There's no way something as crazy as this actually exists! We gotta raise the flags more in order to clear my character route! Now then, despair is waiting for you! Impossible. This is impossible. It's all made up. Everything is made up. Made up? Including me, too? Oh, shit. No, I'm pretty sure you're a real person. 
Hopefully. Hopefully. With any luck. 